I think it goes without saying that one of the most popular perennials in our gardens today, certainly one of the ones with the most charm and nostalgia and evokes the whole image of an old-fashioned cottage garden, is this, the beautiful garden peony. And if you're looking for one that's really beautiful and very popular, probably the most popular variety on the market today, then of course it's this one, which is Peony Sarah Bernhardt. Just look at these gorgeous, big, fully double, bright pink flowers. Look how they put on a terrific show on plants that get to about two and a half to three foot tall. Producing lots of flower buds, you'll see that as they begin to open, they have the outer petals that are often streaked with red. This is often carried into some of the flowers too, so it's not unusual to see red streaks continue into the flowers. It is a free flowering, easy to grow variety. All you need is a sunny, well-drained spot in an average soil. But what is important is a couple of things. The first is when you get your plants, make sure, make sure to choose nice, healthy plants like these. Check the foliage out. Look for nice, clean, healthy, luxuriant foliage like this. If you see foliage that's distorted, watch out because that might have diseases or viruses in it. Sometimes with old fashioned varieties like this, the stocks have got depleted. We go to extreme lengths to make sure that our stock is nice and healthy and well grown. The other thing is to look for plants like these that are grown in containers, in a nice big pot that's sturdy. When you shake them, they're not going to shake about inside the pot. They're well grown and nicely established in the pot. You see, one of the things about peonies is that they do not transplant well. So it's very important that you get one that's grown in a container, that's nice and healthy like this, so that when you take it and put it, put it into your border, it's going to grow away nice and strongly and successfully. The other thing to make a mention of is that when you get it home, dig a good sized hole. Don't skimp on the size of the hole. And then incorporate plenty of planting compost. That's the stuff that's going to encourage it to root out and get started. And of course, water it well until the plant gets established. Then the final thing about growing them is that when you put it in a site, put it in a sunny place, but make sure that when you put it there to leave it be. As I say, they're not great transplanters, so make sure you choose the position carefully, and then when it's growing st steadily, just stick with where it is. You'll find that they make wonderful cut flowers too, and you can pick them when they're about this stage, when they're just opening, plunge them in water, condition them overnight in water, and you can take them in and put them in a vase, and they make the most fantastic cut flowers. People often talk about the fragrance of peonies, and while there is a small, slight fragrance of this variety, I can't say that it really is a very fragrant variety. But what it lacks in fragrance, it more than makes up for in these gorgeous big flower heads. Sometimes you might have to tie them in and support them a little bit, there are things called peony rings that you can buy that you can put around them and that just helps to support these enormous big flower heads that look so impressive. So here's a plant that I think you're really going to enjoy. It was raised way back in 1906 by the famous French nursery firm of Le Moyne. Victor Le Moyne along with his son and grandson were tremendous plant breeders and introducers. And over the years they bred, I think, 200 different varieties of lilacs. They bred a bunch of other plants too, including Doutsias and Philadelphus and so on. But Victor Lemoyne, it is said, was a big fan of Sarah Bernhardt, the famous actress. He attended her performances and that's why he decided that he was going to name this fabulous seedling of his in her honor. This is Peony Sarah Bernhardt, one of the most beautiful and probably one of the most popular peonies that I think you're really going to enjoy growing in your garden.